I constantly get asked about Mugen things, how to do stuff with Mugen tutorials. Apparently, I'm really good at doing them. There's many other tutorials out there, but I, I don't mind. Uh, today, I thought I'd do a tutorial on how to add like a intro and ending for, say, a character, if it's available, I should say, unless you make your own, which I don't know how to make an intro ending. I don't know how to make a Mugen character. I don't know how to make a Mugen stage. Don't ask me that. <laughs> no, that's too much process. But why not? Let's go right here real quick to Mugen. Let me full screen this. Now, arcade mode. We'll go into arcade and we'll use, say, SpongeBob. This SpongeBob as an example. If you go into him, just goes right into arcade mode. And you just go ahead and just play arcade mode with SpongeBob. You know, we're just going to fast forward this a bit here. And say like you say you wanted to have like a little arcade mode intro for SpongeBob and an ending. Let's just say sometimes they come with endings and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they come with just intros. Sometimes they just come with endings. I'm gonna show you how to install both. So let's uh, exit out of here. First, what you're gonna want to do? Whoa! What the heck was that? What you're gonna want to do is download an ending for the character you want. So, I have SpongeBob here, and you can see I have what's called a story folder, and it has everything, ending, intro, all that. So, te technically you can add SpongeBob's ending to any character you want, it's just gonna look really friggin' stupid. <laughs> but anyway, what you wanna do, is go into that character's .dev folder after you have downloaded the story. They're called storyboards, by the way. After you downloaded those from, like, say, the Mugen Archive, Fighting Guild, whatever website is offering you a storyboard for, like, any character you want, Ryu, Vegeta, Goku, SpongeBob in this case, you want to go into their .dev file, their .dev file. Sorry, let me see if I can edit that out of the video. Anyway. Uh, open up the .dev file. You're going to want to scroll all the way down. Now, some characters have this. Others don't. There's usually a spot right here that says, like, arcade mode, all that lovely jumbo, whatever. It's going to look like this. Like that, arcade mode, or semicolon, arcade mode. Then these brackets, arcade, bracket, intro.storyboard equals, and this is where I'm going to help you out here. This is where I'm going to help you out. I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of this. If the character has any semicolons besides the arcade mode right here, get rid of them. It's not going to work. So, with Spongebob, he has an intro and an ending, I believe. Yep, intro and ending, and they're both called that. So, uh, whoops, there we go. Where it says intro.storyboard equals, you're going to want to put a space. And then, once you put the story folder, or you can even just put the files in the SpongeBob folder or with the character folder. I just put it in a story folder if I want. You're going to put story. Whoops. <laughs> oh, man, it's story forward slash intro dot def. And then the same thing here, if you want to use his ending, it's going to be a space after the equals, story, forward slash, I believe it said ending in there, ending, dot def. Let's just double check, because these are the two you want. Okay. Okay, good. So let's get back to Mugen there. Open up this here. You're going to want to hit file, save. Okay, so again, some characters already have this pre-installed. If they don't, you're gonna have to write semicolon, arc semicolon space arcade mode, and then hit enter, and then put one of these brackets, write arcade, and then another bracket, and then you type intro dot storyboard space equals space and whatever the name of the folder you put his intro in, I put it in a folder named story, story 
forward slash. Just realized intro. <laughs> dot def. Same thing with the ending, except you put ending. Dot storyboard. Space equal. Space story forward slash ending. Dot def. Now, with that being said, SpongeBob. Of course, make sure you save. SpongeBob should have an ending now. You should have an ending and an intro when you, we go into arcade. So we're gonna go into arcade. We're gonna go over to SpongeBob and bam! This is this uh, SpongeBob's intro. It's a, I believe, it's a Saturday morning mayhem intro here. I'll, I'll let it play out just to show that you've installed it right. And I've installed it right. So they want to know who the master is. Boy, that's an easy one. Because SpongeBob is Bob's master. I'm going to kick their behinds to prove it too. Not only will behinds get kicked, but I'm going to turn this game into a Sunday night nightmare. Ha ha, SpongeBob. Yeah, Derek, you should have named this game Rathy S. Bob. Ah! Oh, wait, it's... Ah! So that's Spongebob's intro. Let's see if the ending works, so we're going to go through my entire arcade mode, f warning these characters. Yeah, let me show you again. Haha, <laughs> Spongebob. Hilarious. And F1 there. This is going to be a while. Or right, better luck next time, Plankton. Funny. All right, garlic, get rid of you. Remember, we gotta go through seven fights here. That's my arcade mode. If you wanna know how to edit on how to do how many arcade fights, just go check out how to set my arcade mode video tutorial. Just check out the entire tutorial playlist on how to move in. Yes! And Pikachu. Let me show you again. Alright. So this is fight number three. Like I said, I'm only doing this just to see if the ending works. I could edit the video, but I want to actually show you the ending installed and working. Instead of me just editing the video, jump cutting like, oh look, there's his ending. Watch out. Watch out. Better luck next time, Plankton. Homer. Oh, I thought Homer and SpongeBob would have a special intro. <laughs> Homer scream. It's always funny to me. Okay, see you next year. Blows bubbles. Krillin. Hey, buddy. He's a sub boss now. Spoilers for the upcoming Mugen batch happening very, very soon. Live and let die. And see you, next see you next year. Better luck next time, Plankton. Krang. Yes. <laughs> Good night, Krang. Krang's about to explode now, too, I believe. Let's see. And down he goes. And so, instead of a congratulations screen, it should show an ending for Spongebob. Right after all this here. I'll see you next life. Ha ha ha. Let's see. There it is. Spongebob standing on top of everybody. From Saturday morning, whatever. If you notice, Derek, I've not only defeated the Saturday morning mayhem cast, but also... Every underwear on the outside wearing Super Freak on the planet. I am the master, baby. As Bob reigns supreme. What do you think about making a Sunday night nightmare game? Starring moi now, huh? Sounds good, right, D? Yeah, baby. Can't touch pose time. What? You can't touch this. By the way, just remember, some endings aren't that great, some intros aren't that great, but that's how you do it. 
That's how you install intros and endings to characters. I will go over it again real quick. First, get the character. In this case, we got SpongeBob. Uh, where is he? Right there. You want to download his intro, ending, whatever. Put it in a folder. Name it anything. In this case, we named it Story. You go in here and you got the intro here and the story here. They're both dev files. Or ending here. They're both dev files. You're going to put that folder in the characters folder. So put the story folder into SpongeBob's folder. You go into SpongeBob's def file. Scroll all the way down. If it doesn't have this, you just type in semicolon space arcade mode. And then you hit enter. And you type in, I have no idea what this is, a bracket, arcade, and the other bracket. You hit enter. Then you type in intro dot storyboard, all one word, space, intro, space, equals, whatever the file folder you just named. I put story, forward slash, intro dot def. And again, to add the ending, you just hit enter right here. And type ending dot storyboard space equals space whatever you name the file folder which in this case it's story forward slash ending dot def that is how you install an intro and ending to any character you want in Mugen sometimes uh, hold on I'll go right in here sometimes these files will be named different like they'll be named story or they'll be named something else but it works the same way just follow what I just said but um, I'll show you another fun example here with some characters because like I said I think Shaq where's Shaq's uh, def file there we go Shaq already has see he has this already installed the arcade stuff I think we don't even have to put arcade mode but I do anyway my name is Clint Roth. I hope this Mugen tutorial helped out anybody who's trying to customize their Mugen to make it a little more customizable. Not every character has an intro and ending because some people, like I said, it's a long process to make characters, intros, ending stages, whatever. My name is Clinker Roth. Again, I hope this helped you. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.